within uh, within DIFF. We have uh, some really active steering members who helped us to get better organized. We have some active members who are pushing us for uh, more structure and other things. So it's really great. Um, it's great to see the the working group leads who are like really driving a uh, lot of the content forward. And we have, I think we have almost uh, 10 people who join almost weekly just to improve how we can all work better together. Because ultimately it's a membership organization and so it's all about you guys to uh, drive whatever we want to get out of us. So the, the plan for this year is <clears throat> we want to be a bit more active to attract also enterprise members in terms of we, we believe we, we are now, we're seeing a lot of like traction on the work itself, but uh, we want to make sure that the transition into real like production implementations um, gets smoother. So we want to get um, big players more actively involved. And generally the, the members we have, a lot of them are listening and participating in like uh, more passive modes and we want to get more active involvement. So we want to make sure that people understand how contributions work, how they can donate uh, um, code or any other contributions into, into DIV so we get more high quality outputs. So generally, I think the other aspect is the communication in our space. So there's lots of educational things we can do better, communicate the, the results, the, the outputs, so we get um, better connection to, I think, the broader, broader audience. And <clears throat> obviously, continue to work on relationships with other organizations. So there's a bunch of ongoing conversations with uh, INAPTA and others in, in different parts, different regions or different organizations to just strengthen the, the collaboration and avoid any overlaps. And it's kind of interesting that, so one thing which just came up in the last few days is that Germany just, I think, announced in the last weeks uh, that four out of 11 consortia were rewarded um, like to work on a three-year project to implement like an uh, identity system within uh, Germany and uh, four out of the four were SSI uh, companies. So it's really exciting to see that also like governments are like, pushing more and more for this type of um, solutions. So I'm quite excited about I think what's now upcoming for 2021 and, and beyond. If there's anything you guys think we should do, any more collaboration, any more I don't know topics you guys want to bring up, we're talking about um, a few people about some new working groups which are coming up. Um, so it's not maybe quite ready to announce them, but uh, please uh, like reach out if there's anything you want to discuss further. And with that, I hand over to Juan who will talk about the agenda for today. Yeah, uh, great. Um, does anyone have links to German decisions? Uh, normally it is my role to monitor the chat and fill it with links, but uh, I should probably be speaking about the agenda and format of today's events. So if you're here, if you follow the link directly here, instead of going through GatherTown, um, this is the main stage. We're recording these sessions. They'll be available later. Um, and um, the, uh, uh, I've got a link here for the uh, main stage programming. So it'll be um, at the top of the bottom of the hour, it'll be uh, interop and then didcom working groups and a little Q&A and break. And then the next hour will be claims and credentials, presentation exchange, which is a claims credential work item and side tree working group, uh, 15 minutes Q&A, networking break uh, then at um, 10.30 Pacific, 7.30 European. It'll be secure data storage and identifier and discovery working group and carry and another Q&A and, and another break. And then we'll have closing remarks. Um, so um, pace of today's events will probably be a little fast. Uh, it, it, I will not be the first or last person to make a confused face uh, looking at their camera, trying to understand chat. Uh, but yeah, we, we hope this new format is um, generative for everybody. And um, yeah, definitely we are a member organization. So please take advantage of this opportunity to meet each other, talk to each other chat in the halls, grab a seat outside and, and uh, 
have one-on-one -on -one conversations with people you've never talked to one-on-one. -on -one. That's uh, really um, at least half of the value we're trying to add here, which is here. And there are, uh, so in addition to the main stage events and the one-on-one um, -on -one conversations we're inviting people to take advantage of, there's also side stage events. Um, and uh, yes, the main stage will be recorded, Peter. And the side stage events are um, happening sort of in a un unconference format. So if um, people would like to um, present it, any last minute sessions or invite people to attend, they can put themselves on the schedule and uh, unmute themselves and, and talk now if they'd like to recruit uh, people to a member to member session. Absolutely. Um, so maybe I can start with, uh, sure. so I, I, will be, I will be hosting a session in about 45 minutes uh, about VC marketplaces. And the goal for that is really, well, just to get uh, people excited about that idea. And what we want to, to do during that is think about different potential use cases where you have um, either separate SSI networks or issuers, verifiers, and holders who are not aware about each other, but they want to participate and connect to, to, with each other to either to for holders to get access to some services that verifiers provide or for holders to discover where they can uh, request credentials that they need. So the goal for that is really to think from not to technical, but from business and use case uh, standpoint about discovery and transactions between uh, participants of the SSI ecosystems who are not aware, who, are, who don't know each other in advance. Thanks. Any other, sorry, I, I phrased that wrong. I didn't mean to invite only people declaring last minute sections. Anyone with a side session they wanna invite people to or get, get input on, please feel free to speak. And thanks, mm -hmm. Stefan. Yeah, hello, mm, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Uh, my name is Xavier from, from Validated ID and I'm hosting a quick session about well, it's a 10 Pacific, seven uh, Europe. And what I would like to talk about, well, it's not very SSI and very sexy, but it's kind of important. The idea is to, to talk about X509 uh, and verifiable credentials. Uh, we want to explain some work we have been doing at the European Commission and NEPS level, and now at uh, program called NGI SF Lab. And we want to expand and open and of course, receive feedback and see if this could be interesting in other, let's say, jurisdictions where we can we can Europe. I can see you there. Thank you. Great. And um, yeah, here's Stepan's uh, session, and Xavier's session is below it. Um, so yeah, there other people want to announce or recruit. So um, basically, if there is no one who would want to talk about their side event, then um, I could maybe talk a little bit about GatherTown and how it came about. So last year or half a year ago, when we hosted the previous face-to-face, -face, when we can see your screen. I know. Um, okay. Then there was a and ask that we don't host six hours of get, uh, Zoom meetings again because it's great, but it's a little hard to focus, uh, especially in the second part of the meeting. So we are looking for some alternative, um, more networky, more lightweight ways of, of creating a conference-like experience. And we essentially found GatherTown one of the best fitting one for, for our needs. And yeah, I could actually show a little bit, or do we want to show anything? Um, um, yeah, let's, let's play around. So, who and I will ask you to come about and mute yourself everywhere, please.
Um, so essentially the whole place works in a way that you can move around with your arrow keys. Um, the event room one is the one here in the upper corner, this one. And the event room two, clearly, uh, is the blue one. You have the ability to interact with the Google documents on each of these rooms that takes a little bit of loading. There is a grape shows up and then you wait and you can see everyone showing up on the top of your screen while you are waiting. Um, and you if they X. have cameras right. on, they, I would see their cameras as well. Um, yeah, sorry. Memory and this topic is not the best. You, you, need, to, you need to press X, correct, to, to start? Uh, yes, so once you get into the room, uh, about here, there is a small bubble comes up to press X, and that's how you can interact with objects in the game. And then essentially you can just uh, collaboratively write in these documents. And if the microphone and video is off for everyone who is in the room, you can also chat. So like it's a, it's really a room-like experience, just people have to have their microphones off. I keep it off for now in gather time so it doesn't start to annoy people. Um, and as many of you have figured it out already, um, the two main Zoom rooms are also accessible by visiting the the side rooms and once you hit X, um, a Zoom link comes up and then you can enter the Zoom room, but this is Zoom room for the other, other room. And one more thing that's worth to show is the whiteboarding area. There will be some sessions here too. And here in the whiteboarding area, you can essentially um, collaboratively again, if there would be other people in this room, I would see them here in the top and I could talk to them and then collaboratively can create um, or capture ideas. If someone in DAP, um, these columns have an integrated how-to explanation and also we exported the agenda so you can find the agenda in a, image format on these columns, always interact with X on your keyboard. Um, and you can go into cones of silence. So every armchair is, every group of armchair is its own private room. So if I go in, um, I only, so if someone would stand next to me, there is no proximity, but I can hear everyone who would be sitting on a chair here. Um, so Simone is near to me, but he can't hear me. But if I step out, now I can see Simone, if he would be here or talking. Um, so you can have a more private experience. I think that would be it. If I, think, I think maybe the, the main point is like, if you just walk around there and you find other people and you stand close to each other, it would actually like after a few seconds start to connect and you can start talking to them. That's kind of like the experience we tried to see whether it works or not, we don't know. So we were very keen to get feedback after it. Cool. And in, uh, yeah, in, in seven minutes, uh, the inner operating group will be presenting right here. Uh, so feel free to stay hunkered down and also feel free to leave and come back. Um, the, the, my, my only advice with the GatherTown platform is to mute yourself when you go back and forth. If you accidentally leave one mic on, you can make a little, little feedback loop. Cool. Then again, thanks for joining everybody. And uh, let's see. I'm very curious and excited for today. <laughs> see you in a bit. Yeah, see you in different rooms. <laughs>